Having the proper lie on your irons is one of the more important fitting variables. And we're going to do a little demonstration later on to show you exactly why, but we need to set this up a little bit so that you can understand if you have the proper or improper lie on your irons. Number one, you can tell some things from divots. You can go out on the practice range and hit shots and look down and see if it's a toe down or a heel down sort of an affair when you're coming through on the divot. The other thing you can do is you need to understand what happens when you set up an address so that you're not fooled into thinking that, well, my toe is up in the air. So right now, this club happens to fit me and the toe is up in the air as I address the ball. Well, two things happen. Number one, as I swing into impact, the toe goes more down because my hand position changes from address to impact up here. The third thing that happens is, because the center of gravity of the head's not in line with the axis of the shaft, the club actually flattens. So those three things now allow me to come into impact with the head in the proper position, meaning it's horizontal to the ground and the lie angle is correct. So three dynamic attributes start off from address with the toe up and end up with the club head horizontal to the ground and in the proper lie position. So let's take a look at what causes all this misdirection control. To really understand how directional control is affected on irons if the lie angle is not correct is easy to do with a little gadget like this that I made up. And what this does is I have a pitching wedge mounted on it of 48 degrees loft. And you'll notice I've glued a bar on it that comes straight out of the face plane. And the leading edge of this is mounted such that it's pointed directly at the target in all cases through any given lie angle. Well, here we have the lie angle of the club right here. And you can see we have a loft angle. Well, if we have two angles, a lie angle and a loft angle, any time we introduce another angle, which is flattening of the lie, that other angle we just introduced is a tilting of the face plane. So you can see that now we're going to pull the ball to the left. But I go back to the correct lie, it hits it straight. I go to an incorrect lie with the toe down, it hits it to the right. Incorrect lie with the toe up and it hits it to the left. The greater the loft you have on your iron, the greater the pulling effect of the shot. In other words, in an entire set of irons, if they were all, say, two upright by two degrees on the toe being up, then you're going to hit pull the nine iron far greater to the left than you will a one or a two iron, even though you hit them farther. So it's really important to get all your irons checked correctly for lie so that you don't have to worry about going through this effect here in directional control. Very important in the short clubs, but very important in all your clubs. Now that you understand what causes the ball to go left and right from improper lie, keep this in mind from playing. When the ball is above your feet, Obviously, you're going to be pulling the ball to the left, so you've got to aim more to the right. When the ball is below your feet, you've got to aim more to the left because you're going to push the ball. So just a little tip, but it's very important and very critical that you get your lie angle adjusted properly.